Welcome to Card and Shaft Alignment from Equip Incorporated. Hi, my name is Damian Josephsberg. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. During this presentation, you'll learn the process for doing a card and shaft alignment and some tips and tricks to help you along the way. At the end of this presentation, you'll be given some information on how you can have Equip come and help you with your card and shaft alignment in your facility. There are a few simple rules that you need to remember when you're doing a card and shaft alignment. First of all, a card and shaft is good for offset misalignment only, not angle misalignment. The offset misalignment that is entered has to either be in the vertical or the horizontal plane. It cannot be in both. The angle that is present at each one of the knuckles in the card and shaft has to be the same, and the angle that's present at the knuckle should not exceed three and a half degrees. Even though you're doing a card and shaft alignment, all the alignment procedure rules still apply. We always have to think about safety first, so make sure everything is locked out and tagged out before you begin. You want to clean up. Make sure that you clean all the dirt and the grease from in between the base plate and the machine feet. Replace any dirty or rusty shims. The little bit of time that you spend in the beginning cleaning up is going to pay dividends on the other end of the alignment when you're making your final moves. You do a, foot, a rough soft foot correction. Then you want to do a rough alignment. Then you do a final soft foot correction. And finally, you do a final alignment on the machine. There are two different ways to determine the misalignment when doing a card and shaft alignment. You can either take measurements at each knuckle and get the misalignment there, or you can do it an uncoupled alignment and you could take measurements from output shaft to input shaft. If you're going to take your measurements at each knuckle, then you need to either set up your dial indicator or your laser alignment tool across that knuckle and you take at least two sets of alignment readings in order to check for repeatability. If you're going to take measurements from output to input shaft, this is going to be considered an uncoupled alignment. You're not going to be able to do this with a dial indicator. You can only do this with a laser alignment system. This is also going to require special bracketing in order for you to get your alignment readings. When using a card and shaft, some misalignment has to exist. You can't have a scenario where you have zero misalignment when you're using a card and shaft. You have to have at least a half a degree of angle at each knuckle. This is in order to keep the splines lubricated as the card and shaft is rotating with the rotating machinery. When you're setting your final alignment, Make sure that you don't go over three and a half degrees of angle at each knuckle. If you do this, you're going to have high axial vibration when the machine is in operation. You're going to damage your bearings and you're going to damage your seals. Proper documentation is part of any maintenance process. A report should be generated for any alignment. A report should always include at least two things the as-found alignment conditions and the as-left alignment conditions. Why is Equip the best choice for your laser alignment needs? Well at Equip, all we do is alignment. We're experts in the field. We're able to take current technology that's available now and apply it to new problems. We continually think outside of the box to solve problems that are out of the ordinary. We have experienced alignment engineers who are dedicated to your specific alignment needs. We will go almost anywhere at any time without almost any notice. We guarantee your alignment will be done correctly the first time. Thank you for joining me for this presentation. For more information on Equip products and services, 
you can contact our sales office at 407-401-9343. For any technical questions, you can contact Operations at 305-538-7101. You can always find us on the internet at www.equip.com or you could send us an email at info at equip.com. Remember, at Equip, alignment is our business.